We're gonna go back a couple of years. This is my A31P. This thing is huge. This thing is is it's thicker than the T43P. Um, this is a 15 inch laptop, and this is actually my first IPS laptop. This also has a, a UXGA panel, so I I saw the great resolution on this thing. Um, as you can tell, I have a carbon fiber wrap on this. This one's not really a great wrap. I just want to check it out just to see how see how it is. And I also like the color gold. Oh my gosh, this thing's hard. Hold on. This has a really nice feeling keyboard. I like this one more than the T43P. Um, this also has some very loud speakers on here. This was um, the the media, you know, like a media uh, ThinkPad. So. These things turn out power. The eight, the eight uh, twenty series. They had uh, keyboard, not keyboard, speakers right there. And also, the cool thing about about these machines is that they're they're three spindle. So you have you have an ultra bay right here, and you also have one on this side as well. Let's see. There we go. Ultra bay also. So yeah, they're pretty sweet. This is probably my, I want to say, other than the X61, um, this is, well, I guess this would be my third most expensive, uh, ThinkPad. I put <laughs> a lot more money than I expected. Um, there's a, there's a lot of cool features this thing has. I have, like, the dock for it. I have the number pad for it. I have, um, the camera for it also. And it's actually one of my favorite laptops, but right now the Wi-Fi is breaking out on this thing. So I don't know if it's the uh, board or if I need, if it's actually a bad Wi-Fi cable or I should say Wi-Fi card. So it, I've been really, really mean to get another copy because I don't think people really care for this, this one really. I mean, I, I just, I think it was kind of sweet, but I don't know. Some, some enthusiasts won't like it. So but that's just me though. I have to say that finding parts on this thing is freaking hard as hell. I had, I had these little latches broken. And it took me about like three months to find pieces for it. I also took out the uh, card adapter right here. I don't need it. So. And yeah, this thing can definitely hurt someone if you want to if you want to hit somebody with it. I kind of stopped collecting the T61 because if I wanted a 14 inch laptop, I'd get a T400. It's a lot lighter. This thing is pretty heavy. And if I wanted a 15 inch uh, 15 by 4 laptop I'd rather have a W500 I have a couple of those they work pretty good they're fun to game on but even then a T61 isn't isn't too bad this one is a 14 inch model right here you can tell the speakers the speakers are right here that means it's a 14 inch if you had a 15 inch uh, widescreen version speakers would be up here and if you had a four you know four three non wide widescreen model speakers are down here so you wouldn't see any speakers anywhere um, I did like using this thing a lot. This is probably, I think I want to say the fourth or third ThinkPad I had after the X61 that I actually started using a lot more than my X, my X61 tablet for a while. Cause it's just, it's just a blast to type on. It, the performance is still pretty good. A lot of people like to, to complain that it's not, but I, I could use YouTube on it fine. I, I could, I could still game on it. I could photo edit it. I could video edit it. Another model that I do like is the uh, 770 series. This laptop is huge. Even though, even though it doesn't look that big, this thing is thick as heck. It's, ac it's actually, I think it's actually a little bit thicker than the W700DS. And this thing weighs a freaking ton. It is a tank. Um, I actually have three of these versions. The only thing that sucks is that the paint, the paint likes to come off on these. Um, keyboard wise, the keyboard's okay. I mean, I do like it, but it's not, it's, it's missing something. I'm not too sure what it is. And th these models, models also have a, uh, kind of, they have the, definitely have the ThinkPad smell. Um, it's, I don't know what the smell comes from. It must be the magnesium or something, but cool thing about this, let me see, the actually battery still works on this bad boy, is that you got the little LEDs right here, and, this model, I got lucky to have the hinges in great condition. I don't know if you can tell. Um, the CMOS battery works on this thing. I'm, it, this is still a project laptop for me. The freaking, 
the, the I don't have the caddy right here. The, what's that called? The caddies on this things are are huge. They are seriously massive. Let me just turn this off. If it wants to turn off. But yeah, these things are huge. There's there's a certain model that I'm not too sure if this is the model, but there is a 13.6 inch uh, model that has a five to four aspect ratio, which is almost a uh, one to one. Oh, I was like, what the hell's going on? This thing's still on. Anyways, I've I I have that one, and I also have this this uh, just a plain 770 uh, right here. Um, this one's in great condition. Like there's there's no paint, a little bit of paint messed up right here. But for some odd reason, the thing doesn't want to turn on. I I'm, I'm not I'm not too sure why. So I also have a 770 ED model, which is the about the same as a 770X. Oh Jesus! But the hinges on this thing are bad. The paint on here is just horrible. Um, I'm gonna the motherboard on this thing works. So I'm most likely gonna try to swap the motherboard and put it onto this, the smaller version. Um, one thing to note on these models is that they both they both have um they're a little bit different. Um, you have like the the flat angle right here, and then this one right here has a certain wedge uh, shape to it. I actually did use um I actually did use use these laptops as backgrounds for one for when I sold one of my X three hundred ones for a bit. Um, these things are, they're tanks. They're, they're seriously heavy. Like, this is a door stopper if you, if you really need it. Um, I took out the RAM on this, but yeah, I'm still working on my 770X. I, I, once, once I finally figure out all the, the weird things on it, it's, it, it's, uh, it has like a, like a DVD capture, it has like a capture card for like DVDs or something, or for TVs, but, I'm missing I'm missing a, a CD-ROM for it, and I cannot boot from a DVD. And right now, I do not feel like booting from a floppy. Earlier in the video, I gave a shout out to the person that owns a 600. I do have one. This is a 600X. Um, this thing is in very good condition for for a model of this age. Um, let me show you guys. Um, this has the uh, cat's tongue uh, track point. I actually don't care for it that much because it likes to get dirty. I don't know if that's my dead skin or if it's the other person's, but um, this has a nice smooth finish right here. The paint on this is, is good. I think the uh, 700 series had like the uh, not so great paint. I'm not too sure. Um, another thing is that the speakers are right here and it looks oddly similar to the X300. Um, another cool thing is that like like um some of the old models they have sliders for brightness and contrast. Or not well this one is just brightness. There's another I think there's I have another model that has contrast also. Um let me see. What else does this thing have? It has three ports. Little cool thing there. You got little uh got for the floppy. And I thought this is interesting. Is that this has a little latch for for uh USBs also, so that's pretty cool. Um, kind of what what laptops have those tough books? They have they have little protectors like that. Yeah, this this thing is seriously tough. It's the precursor to the T series, but I lucked out on a very solid model. The hinges are tight on this thing. Only thing that sucks is that I the OS on here is like very slow, and I've been meaning to get a new one. Um, I'm kind of stuck with a floppy, so yeah, if. I don't, I don't know about, about installing a OS with floppies. I've heard that it's painfully slow. Um, I don't know, I haven't really seen much, but the keyboard right there looks, that looks a lot like the T-Series right there. Here is a pretty uncommon ThinkPad. I have one, this is a part of the 200 series. These were mainly made in Japan. Um, these were like the super ultra small ones. And this is the uh, 235 right here. Um, this has a very very small keyboard as my my finger is like psh, I I always mash like three buttons somehow when I type on this thing um this model has a camcorder battery that I can't seem to source um but supposedly you could find it very easily but I think just due in time that it's just very 
old and obscure that you can't find it. I think it has a, a Pentium 3 or 2 in here. I'm not quite sure. Um, I have a, a new track point. I think it was missing one. It's um it's not too bad of a model. I mean it's 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 pretty it's pretty quiet. Um, I do plan on playing like some old school retro games on this thing. It has a uh, Win Windows ninety five uh, SE or is it Windows eight ninety eight SE? Um, so it's pretty sweet. Other, other than that, uh, it's broken right here. This this mo these models were they didn't have like the tough components like the seven hundred or the uh three hundred series. Well, no, I should say five hundred series. Um, they were made out of plastic. Well, at least this one is, so it's it's kind of, I mean, it doesn't feel cheap, but there's just some parts of it that that I know don't, will not hold up to time. This, this only the left speaker works, the right one broke, and, you know, I'm just going to deal with that because I don't, I don't want to open this thing up.